If you wait on God, He will give you the best person. When you wait on God, He will give you the best person. It's best to wait for God's time, and then He will give you the best person to be with. Waiting on God means you trust in Him, and you must remember that those who put their trust in God never come to a failure in life. It's more profitable to wait on God by praying to Him to grant the specific desires of your heart than for you to follow after your wisdom and rush into choosing the wrong partner. Keep waiting on God. Keep on asking God about what you need in the man or woman you want to spend the rest of your life with. This is the wise thing for you to do. God will answer you and He will bring the best person your way. Don't get distracted by the many choices that surround you. Focus on God for your desire. Keep waiting and He'll give you the best out of the best persons on earth. So don't get carried away by the several people around. And even if you have several people who are around you that you think you could start a relationship with, before you take a step further to accept that guy's proposal or before you ask that lady out, pray to God for wisdom. God's wisdom is profitable to direct in all things. It's much better to follow and use God's wisdom. This will help you to choose and make the right choice instead of rushing into a wrong relationship and getting hurt. Humans have several weaknesses which usually bring us to the end of ourselves. So it can be hard to tell clearly what is best for us. Because of this, it's best to put your hopes in God and keep waiting on Him. God is the one who knows all things. He knows the end from the beginning and so He has the right wisdom to give you the best life partner. Think about it. How many times have you been so sure of something only to realize that you made a horrible mistake. The good thing about small mistakes is that you can easily correct them. However, if one makes a mistake in marrying a partner, the results can be very bad and it can lead to a divorce. This isn't to scare you, rather it is to prepare your hearts to let you see that trusting God is what is best when you're waiting for a life partner. This is the very reason you must keep waiting on God by praying and trusting Him for a life partner. Remember that God's gifts are always right for His children. If you wait on God, He will surely bring the best person for you to your path. He will make sure that you find such person or that they find you. He's very interested in giving you the best partner as a life partner. God doesn't give His children temporary joys in any area of their life. God is utterly, relentlessly, and hopelessly committed to giving His children the best life partner. He will give you the very best for you at the exact moment He knows is best. He gives only the best because it's indeed the best for us. He never gives something of an inferior value. Romans chapter 8 verse 28 says, So we are convinced that every detail of our lives is continually woven together to fit into God's perfect plan of bringing good into our lives. Don't be tempted to stop praying and hoping on God. Hold on to God and let His wisdom rule you. Don't turn a bit away in your prayers towards God regarding your future partner because you feel disappointed that you've been waiting for a while. Don't give up on his great plan for you. Don't be deceived. You do not know better than God. You can't choose the best partner all by yourself. If you sink yourself in worries like how God has forgotten the need for you to settle down, if you focus on your lack so much, you would be convinced that God has abandoned you and this would make you pull farther from Him, rather closer to Him. Keep waiting on God. Don't give up yet and continue to pray to God. Waiting on God actively means that you trust God 
and you are asking him in prayers for a partner. What I am telling you today is that you should continue to wait on God and keep asking him in prayers because you need his wisdom. Asking God and praying to him is a sign that you truly trust him for the thing you desire. Trust that your God is in control. He already knows that spending the rest of your life with someone is a big deal and so he doesn't want you to end up marrying the wrong partner. As you wait on God, he will bring the best partner your way. Remember that those who wait on the Lord shall not fail, they won't grow weary. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 says, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. As you wait on the Lord, He will surely bring the best person your way. It's a certain thing that if you wait on God, you will get the best person. Keep casting your worries upon the Lord, for He truly cares for you. God doesn't want you worried about your life. Surrender your desire for marriage to God's hands. Pray to Him for decisions in seeking a partner in life and put your mind at peace that He is in control of the situation. Do this and watch Him bring the best to your doorstep. He will bring your desires into a reality. If you rest more on God's love for you, you can be assured that God will bring what you want your way. If you wait on Him, you will feel peace and God will bring you the best person. Keep waiting on God. He will bring it to pass. The Bible says to depend on God and keep at it because in the Lord God you have a sure thing. This is the surety of you getting the best person you could have thought of. God will bring your life partner to your path. He will give you beyond what you've asked, thought, or even imagined. If you wait on God, He will give you what He has promised to give you. He will deliver the answer to your prayer. Just like that, God will write your love story and match make you with the best person you could have ever thought of. Keep on waiting, for if you wait, you will surely get the best. Keep on putting your all into God's hands and let Him direct you. Remember that God has your best interest at heart. He will give you what you want and even more above it. Keep on waiting on God's timing and don't get frustrated to rush into relationships that are ungodly and against God's will for you. If you do this, you most likely would fall into great traps of the enemy and it may cause you huge pains and discomfort. It's better to keep waiting and get a good gift than to hurry and get a partner that is wrong and harmful to you. God hasn't called you to a life of worry. Keep on waiting on Him and don't get weary in asking Him for your desires. Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 says, Don't fret or worry. Instead of worrying, pray. Let petitions and praises shape your worries into prayers, letting God know your concerns. Be assured that if you wait on God, He will bring your desires for a partner to pass. He will reach out to the world and give you the very best person. Keep on praying to God as you keep trusting God's wisdom and as you're stepping out in faith, you will surely get what you want. As you're searching and relying on God, your quest for a life partner will draw you closer to God. Keep waiting on Him. You're doing the reasonable and wise thing by waiting for His answers. Refuse to give up. Perhaps you've been waiting for a spouse for a long time. Keep hoping on God and don't give up on Him. Remember that the heartfelt and persistent prayer of a righteous man or believer can accomplish much. It is dynamic and can have tremendous power. James chapter 5 verse 16 If God has given to you a desire to get married, He will grant your desire and make it into a reality. God's desire in your heart and mind is proof 
that God wants you to have a successful marriage. He wouldn't put a desire in you without planning to achieve the desire for you. God is your father, and like every good father who always gives good gifts to his children, he shall also give to your partner. Keep waiting on God and don't give up. Waiting is the right thing for you to do, because he will direct your paths and lead you to the right person at the right time. His wisdom can't fail you. Keep waiting, keep praying to him, for if you wait on him, you won't be put to shame. He will give to you the very best person.